Hey, System Admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. If you'd like to employ the power of Chef, I'm here to help you get the system up and running. The first thing we'll do is install the Chef server. To do this, log in to your Ubuntu Server 20.04 for instance and download the server core with the command wget https colon slash slash packages.chef.io slash files slash stable slash chef dash server slash 13.1.13 slash Ubuntu slash 18.04 slash chef dash server dash core underscore 13.1.13 dash one underscore amd64 dot deb. Once that file downloads, install the package with the command sudo dpkg dash i chef dash server dash core underscore star dot deb. After the installation completes, start the Chef Server services with the command sudo chef-server-ctl, reconfigure. Now we need to create a new directory that will house the security keys. Do this with the command mkdir tilde slash dot chef. Next, we create a new user, as well as the key file for that user. Issue the command sudo chef-server-ctl, user-create. Username, F name, L name, email, password, dash dash file name, tilde slash dot chef slash username dot pem, where username is the username for the new user. F name and L name are the first and last names of the user. Email is the email address of the new user. Password is a strong, unique password for the new user. With the new user created, it's time to create an organization. At the same time, we'll add the new user to the admins and billing admins security groups. This is done with the command sudo chef dash server dash ctl org dash create org name org full name dash dash association underscore user username dash dash file name tilde slash dot chef slash org name dot pem where org name, which must be in all lower case, is the organization name, org full name is the full name of the organization, and username is the name of the new user you just created. Log into your client machine and download the necessary file with the command wget https colon slash slash packages dot chef dot io slash files slash stable slash chef dash workstation slash twenty dot six dot six two slash debian slash ten slash chef dash workstation underscore twenty dot six dot six two dash one underscore amd sixty four dot deb. Once the file download completes, install the software with the command sudo dpkg dash i chef dash workstation star dot deb. Next, create a repository on the client with the command chef generate repo chef dash repo. Create a subdirectory within the repository that will house the knife configurations with the command mkdir tilde slash chef dash repo slash dot chef. Change into that newly created repository with the command cd tilde slash chef dash repo. If you don't already have RSA keys on the client machine, generate them with the command ssh dash keygen dash b 4096. Upload the new key to the server with the command ssh-copy-id user at server, where user is the username that generated the key pair and server is the IP address of the server. Next, we must copy the PEM files from the server to the client. This is done from the server with the command scp user at client IP colon tilde slash dot chef slash star dot PEM tilde slash chef dash repo slash dot chef slash where user is the username that generated the PEM files and client IP is the IP address of the client machine. Now we're going to add version control into the mix so you can easily track changes with your cookbooks. If you don't already have git installed on your client, do so with the command sudo apt get install git dash y. When the installation completes, configure git with the following two commands git config dash dash global user dot name name git config dash dash global user dot email email where name is your name and email is your email address 
add the dot chef directory to git ignore with the command echo double quote dot chef double quote greater than tilde slash chef dash repo slash dot git ignore change into the repository with the command cd tilde slash chef dash repo add and commit the files with the commands git add dot git commit dash m double quote initial commit double quote the next step is to generate your first cookbook with the command chef generate cookbook my underscore cookbook once that completes you then need to create a knife configuration file with the command nano tilde slash chef dash repo slash dot chef config dot rb in that file paste the code shown in the article below save and close the file fetch the ssl files from the server with the command knife ssl fetch the final step is to install and validate the client on the server before you do that you need to edit the hosts file on the client machine with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash hosts in that file add the ip address and host name of your chef server in the form of 192.168.1.17 eon vm make sure to use your server's ip address and host name save and close the file change into the dot chef directory with the command cd tilde slash chef dash repo slash dot chef to bootstrap the node issue the command knife bootstrap server dash x user dash p password dash dash node dash name node where server is either the host name or the ip address of the chef server user is the user you've been using password is the password for the user node is the name of the node once the bootstrapping succeeds you can verify with the command run on the client knife client list you should see returned org dash validator where org is the name of the organization you created if you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech be sure to subscribe to our tech republic youtube channel and watch more how-to videos at how to make tech work